beautiful. And then also the Thai. You go to Thai and Vietnam. Vietnamese court has also court dance. And those dances are preserved. If you look at Thai court dance, Vietnamese court dance, you can actually see the same movement. Mm -hmm. uh, especially when the uh, Thai-headed mom is going to perform it for the female side. And in no play, all of these five are important. Five, number five is all of these important, five category. Uh, Okina is exception because it's a ham Hamza area. And then God, old man, man, women, lunatic, demon. That's kind of five field of, of uh, no theater. Strangely, when Okinawa and Ryukyu decided to adopt this idea, they dropped in lunatic and demon. We probably can discuss why later. But these three forms nicely shifting to that Okinawa variation. And Okinawa uh, old style have uh, old man, woman, men style. Actually, I should be opposite. I made a mistake. I'm a feminist. So <laughs> <laughs> dressed up like an old man, an old woman, and uh, this, this first row is uh, like a whole family, mm -hmm. and then this, um, there is a uh, wakashu, which is a young boy, uh, dressed um, to do this dance also, mm -hmm. so I can pass this around and then you can see, you the, can outfit. see the outfits. We're not in, in the proper outfit Just or visualize so. the outfits. <laughs> So, um, so what we'll be doing is showing the two, uh, the, the male and the female. Yeah. Okay. Usually, this is a fan.
uh, one, one posture, and then you have to move that body to the front and back. So that's the thing. Another thing is for the angles. Uh, when you, well, I did actually demonstrate a couple of times in class too. When you work, it's kind of your body is relaxed, and then the tend to be really body is open. But when you dance, you have to the sort of the closer body. Yeah. You feel like you're holding all the muscles that you have in your body <laughs> to form that one yeah. uh, position. So.
Okinawa, um, what they did to try to kind of enhance the, the femin femininity <laughs> uh, is to, um, when, um, rather than kind of have this kind of like a, a kind of like a strong kind of a like stance, what they do is they kind of have this bending over here. So this is pretty unique. And then when, when she stands, there's this kind of bending here, and then looking up, and then kind of bending down. So that kind of gives this kind of softer look that you feel soft and feel like you're holding your breath in. <laughs> <laughs> so that's kind of how that works. Yeah. It's, it's called gamaku. Yeah, gamaku. And it's one of the unique Okinawan.
And that's why it takes so long to learn it. Because you gotta be able to exude that feeling through your eyes and the subtle movements on your head. You know, just uh, just a little tilt of the head and then, you know, and then the way they look. You're supposed to be able to see the longing in your eyes. Caring in the eyes, or the anger in the eyes, they'll be able to see that. So, if you can learn how to appreciate working on dance, you probably enjoy all the, most, a lot of the other dances because the, if you look for that, you'll see a good dancer, a good actor, a good anything. If you look in the eyes, you'll be able to tell if they're actually good actors or good whatever. So, chi is a, you know that?
taking a new cue, not using that. And when she did, now you can remember for the uh, no videos. That stamping you did not see for the earlier dancers. That's actually Japan. And then for she holding like this, this is also typical Japanese young male kind of sign. You probably see that the sword drama, Japanese samurai holding like this working. This is kind of symbol of the Japanese samurai. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And it also does has a lot of this uh, uh, section like a long ball. Yeah, 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 long yeah, ball and then that's actually the Nihon Buyo, and then even no actually partially started with this, this lift portions is that basically you listen to the uh, songs and then you act out the movement mm -hmm. by that. It's a, that now comes the very similar to the fula, because the song lines and the movement is kind of uh, co correlates. And then it's the same thing for the like Okinawa dancing. Okay, so we learned to the 105, <laughs> and then I want to ask you to the maybe uh, quickly move a chair on the side and make a space, and then we're going to move after we put on a special socks for the cabin. <laughs> <laughs>